our way to another auction sale. This one's all about Red Tower. It's, there's lots of other neat things there too, but it's, all, all these, he, this guy's an international collector selling out. And yes, there's the familiar farm out there, but there's also tractors that you may or may not even see at Red Tower Roundup, some rare ones. So let's check it out and see what's there. Here's the farm all in. She's early, like it's got the cable for the shut off for the magneto grounding switch. So this would be a 39 or 40. It's got those wide fenders on too, like they, they were manufactured. These, these aren't homemade, they're manufactured. It's fully on, it's nice and everything. This is well done got good rubber all the way around like they're these brand new no but they'll they're serviceable for a restored tractor they're plenty good enough this one's got the electric start on it this tire is not as good but it's there again we just got a show tractor the okay for a bit but it will need attention it's got double weights on it you see they they, they have they re did a real good job of extending the light bar. It doesn't look like that's it doesn't look like that's ever been extended, but it has. It is tw one two one zero four is the serial number. So this the nineteen thirty nine or nineteen forty. I'll have to look in my book. But this is, but this is a decent tractor. This is well restored in my opinion. Here's a Super W6TA diesel. It's got brand new front tires on it. This is actually fairly straight. Eleven thousand and twenty-two is the serial number. A one one zero two two S. Somebody put a put a tool box on it, but it's also got the battery box complete with lid and everything the hydraulic system is correct back tires are junky they need attention but the drawbar look at the drawbar this drawbar hasn't done much work either i don't know if the ta is any good i attracted this is a real nice tractor actually just needs back tires and it's got a nice steel belt pulley on it. 1954 like all Super W6TA diesels are. Here's a little shop mule. Restored one. These are based off a farm all E. We're super E, depending on the year. You see they got this is like a this is like a power unit gas tank. WF Hebird Company. Hebird or however Chicago, Illinois, USA. Yeah, they saw AL 1148 the engine serial number is FAA 1759888. So they this is this is a farm ollie. This is built to have a farm ollie. Put the implement tires on it. These are like for your uh, little combines. This is a nice little tractor. It isn't entered. It is a farm ollie. It's just the uh, built accessories to make it what it is. And it's very nice. It's new rubber all the way around. And this is battery box off a w4 farm all each and they did just they they just did a few things to make it their own it's a very nice tractor and it's got the front wheel weights on this one too here's a farm all super e looks like they they changed the engine in it by the look of it Got nice tires on the back. They're they're older, but they're they're good. They're not checked bad. T 
252.770, so this is one of the very first Super A's. Yeah, you see he put a power unit engine in it. I had to see if it's hard to tell. I, it could, I think it's just the 113, but it might be a 123. It's, I couldn't see the, cal, the, the number in the black, but a Super A in 1948. Here's a W4. Nice new tires on the front. 30,522. 30, Ooh, it's missing the air cleaner pipe. But this would be a 1951 W4. The back has good tread, but it's checked. It's still run a long time. Like, this isn't concerning to me. Drawbar's done a lot of work. Probably ran a baler or something. Got a nice pulley out. This is about the right size, the size they usually have with them. There you go, 1951 W4. Here's a Super WD R9. Let's check the serial number 7128J. So, this is a 1956 this tractor. And these are very rare to have, have the Supers in 56. The only what Super that we're on into 56 is the Super WD9 series. It's got, there's your platform, your correct platform and fenders. And they have a hand clutch like all the rice field tractors do. It's got double weights, 18 434s. And these tires are certainly serviceable. They don't have the drawbar clevis on, they just bolted it, they just fixed it. It's got one set of, it's got the single hydraulic valve on, it's got the proper hydraulics. This fender needs a little TLC. Sometimes they have 23, 126, and this one's got 34s. So this is checked quite a bit, but it's still serviceable. It's got the battery boxes and lids come with it. So that's a good thing. You see, she's late because it's got the B pump and the B pump didn't come out till late in it till somewhere in time in 1955. And another way they keep advertise this as a 54 because it's super. They don't think it, the supers went beyond 54. But look at this 124B. Now, if it was a 54, it would have a Z code, and this is a B code, so this is definitely a 1956. And it's got, it's all there. The headlights are there. You got the proper lights on. The rubber's all cracked, but it's still serviceable. It's holding the tractor up. So there, you, they put the, the, it's got the wrong, uh, it doesn't have a rad cap on it, though. That's, got the wrong filler neck too but it's a super wdr9 1956 model here's a farm all h nice a wide front one with nice new tires on the front nice new tires on the back fbh304765 so that's gotta be 1950 or 1949 something like that Nice tractor, nice straight H. Brand new tires on the back. What size are the 11.238? So they're a little small. It's got the hydraulics. I think uh, somebody put that on. Nice pulley on it. 211s, so it's a 49 this tractor. But they put live hydraulics on it. You see, they put a tank on and Grecian valves and stuff. And it never originally had the belly pump. This one, it's got their plugs and stuff in there. But new rubber all the way around. Nice, straight, good looking, wide front, farm all each. Here's a Super W6. 
like mine at the stage two. They advertised it as a 1952, and that's not correct. It's a 1953, cause it's, it's, a, it's definitely a stage two. Look at the wheels and the frame. Yeah, you see, they got advertised as 1980J, and it's actually 4980J. That's why, that's why it's 1980J would be a stage one. But this is a stage two. Got nice tires on the back. Front ones are down, but that's for front ones are not a problem. This one's got the hour meter attachment on it. They they had a factory hour meter like this, some of them. This is the first one I seen. This has got the newer style seat. Mine mine is still old style. The back tires are really nice on this tractor. They're BF Goodrich. Front ones are 650-18 steers, 16-930 backs. Nice steel belt pulley comes with it. This one's got the Magneto. By 53, a lot had the distributor, but Magneto was still an option. And, and this particular tractor has one. This is actually fairly nice. The grill needs attention, but... The rest of the tractor's all there and very straight. Here's a Farmall Super MD. Brand new tires on the front. Front yet the grill's damaged a bit. Tin's not the best on it, but it's, this has never been repainted. 1578J, so it's 1952 stage one battery box under the fuel tank. Regular seat. This is uh, yeah, fourteen nine thirty eight. So old thirteen thirty eight. These fenders here, these fenders and platforms. I think they are made out of Winnipeg. Like these are manufactured, and we've we've come across several sets of these. And but like this tractor is all there, definitely. But we came across several sets of these fenders. And so they, they are manufactured. And we've we've we even got a few of these sets of fenders at home and they're they're nice. They're really nice. Like the like they'll go right under the the, the wheels will go right under the fender, they're right out now. But they they're as far about, about as far out as you could get them with the with the hubs turned in. This tire is not as good, but it's still serviceable on the right side. It's got a paper pulley. Yeah, it's, like you look in the inside, it probably it might work, but I, I would rebuild that pulley. This one's got the battery ignition on it. So there you go, 1952 Super MD. Here's a cubby with a sickle mower on it. Let's see what's the serial number. 1312. So it's a very early one. Now I gotta ask one of my subscribers, are these the correct decals for it? Or the, uh, is this a circle cup with that lowest serial number? I think this could be a circle cup. It's got new rubber all the way around. This is a well restored tractor. Like, looks like to me like everything about it is correct. I don't think. They did not cheap out on this. This is well done. This doesn't have the hydraulics. It's just got a hand lift on it. 8.324 tires on it. Yeah, I, this is a nice farm all cub. It really is. This, uh, and it comes with a sickle mower. So here's a cub for you. Here's a wide front C, but it's not a C, it's a Super C. Actually, this one's an early one with a Magneto on it, probably, but, but it's hard to see. Here's the tires are old, but they're tires on the back. They're serviceable. 108395 is the number on it. 
the serial number. They said the serial tag's missing off of one of these. But this one's definitely a Super C with the disc brakes on it. Just tried to read this. I think that's a Y code, so this would be a 53 Super C. got the front weights the front wheel weights come with it either hanging on the drawbar so this tire is really good on it. it it's certainly it's old but it's certainly serviceable fenders that one's a bit rod out but it's got fenders it's somebody's got a 12 volt battery yet and there's the alternator so this is a nice wide front super C Here's another wide front Super C. It's got it's got disc brakes, so it's definitely supposed to be a it's definitely a Super C. It's got the teardrop lights on it as opposed to flat backs. Rubber's nice on it actually. 1036s on it. It's got a homemade three-point hitch on it. This one doesn't, well, somebody just took the belt pulley off and put a cover on left as a PTO is what they did. It's not, they left it just as a PTO and that was for the three-point hitch, but the belt pulley's gone. This one doesn't have the fenders. I get had the touch control and the touch control's gone. Somebody, they just put, Remotes on the back is what they did where, where that's for the three-point hitch and they just put this set up on But it's another wide front super C So uh, I don't know the year on this. I'll look at the housing code Front end's been buggered a bit the tie rods and stuff See what the 610W, so it'd be a 1951 Super C. Here's a 600 diesel tractor. See what the serial number is. They don't need to worry about the year. These are only built in 1956. 862, I think, is the serial number. 862J. This one does not have the belt pulley, and you see they added a, a filter on the hydraulics, which isn't a bad idea. It's got uh, 18 434 rears. This, this tire is not the best. The front ones are certainly serviceable, and this, this will run too. It's got the proper riveted rims on it. Some, they took the... They put this valve on and took the lever off of the original one. I imagine this tractor runs, it's got the drawbar roller on it. They put, they extended the back light bracket and put two lights on the back. I don't know if the tack works, but it's in nice shape. This tire, there again, this tire is serviceable. It's, it's actually cut more than it is cracked, I think. It's got the battery boxes and the toolbox on just the way it should be. It's painted 650 colors, but it definitely is a 600 because it's got the narrow fenders on it. And it seems pretty well complete. There's a nice 600 for you. Here's a WK40. So it's got the six cylinder in it. This could be as late as 1940. I don't think it's that new. I think it's an older one. I think it's the cutoff. Well, these are cutoff wheels. They are not the original wheels. This originally had steel on it, and they put these on. Probably 1432s or 1434s on it. I imagine it, it, it runs. It's nice, it's nice and straight. It's not bad, like... It's dinged a bit, but if it had steel on it, you expect that steel wheels are rough on tractors or, on, or rough on fenders. And there, these are actually use a truck engine in them. So there you go, a WK40. Here's a W30. This one's earlier, but these are not cut off. The ones with the round spokes, 
are not cut off their factory rubber is what this has. 616s up front, new tires. This one's only got 14924s, it's got way small tires for the tractor. This is a nice little 30 actually. 25829s, so I imagine it's about a 1937 this tractor. Nice and straight. It's well done. It needs the manif manifold needs attention, but other than that, this is a nice tractor. So here's a, there's a W30 for you. Here's a farm all F14, a little guy. Well done. New tires on the front. These are the same bore and stroke as the farm all A, but they're a completely different engine. These are, must, these are, I think, 36, oh, these are 40 inch tires on them. Brand new tires on it. Factory rubber. So this the between 1938 and 1940, I think, or no, 30, 37 to 39, I think. So there's a F14 for you. Very nice. Here's a 1530 on steel. It's got uh, legs look good. Like I don't think this tractor's even done a lot of work with the way those legs are. Look how straight that straight it is for steel wheel tractor. You see how the fenders and platform being this straight. That's a good thing. Needs a hood. It's got the robin manifold and they put the exhaust out the hood rather than the old brass carburetor and old manifold that comes out the side. So there's a 1530 for you. And here's another 1530. This one's also on steel. I think this is just a parts tractor or project tractor. This one's rougher. This one has the side panels and stuff, but it's rougher. There's no doubt about this is a rougher tractor, but it is. It's either project tractor or parts tractor. Here's a TD9. It's got the steel gear shift knob, so it'd be between 43 and 45. Good undercarriage on it. The undercarriage is really good on this. It's got the Bucyrus dozer on it. This one's got a Bosch pump on it, Bosch injection system. Most had IH by then. The lights are there, everything. It's all there, this little guy. It's a nice little crawler, it really is. Like, it's nice and straight. It's not beat up or anything. The grill is, the original grill is behind the grill guard. It's perfect. I don't think the crawlers had screens in the grills. This is a really good TD9. Here's a TD9 for you, a really good one too. Here's a 650. This one they put had the factory change up where they put the starting tank there and this expansion tank here for the antifreeze and that never worked. But you see they're sending an extra belt pulley with and these are these run slow so they have a fairly large pulley. Uh 3039G, 3039, so that makes this a 1957. The tires are like new, only they're cracked. Ooh, this one might be buggered up, which is too bad because the tread is perfect on this. This has had new tires and it hasn't done much work. And the valve, the cover over the tank is gone. The right, the right hand, the right hand, uh, cover that goes over the brake tails is gone but it, they sent it with it so they're not on but they come with it the gauges are all out of it which is very unfortunate it's got the drawbar roller on it's got a single set of remotes this tire is there again it's cracked pretty bad but it's just like new as far as tread goes that the sidewall is cracked it's got the battery boxes and the tool boxes on it just like it should and this one has power steering on it. 
So this is the nice 650 diesel project tractor. Front tires, this tire needs attention. Other one's not too bad. He's missing the one headlight though. It's a 650 diesel. Here's just a straight Super WD9. They just welded fender extensions to it. The serial number 1720J. So I think this is 1954. They don't have the proper caps on it. This tire is really good. I could treads down a bit, but the tire is still really decent and serviceable. You got fender extensions on it. would be a lot nicer if it didn't. It's got your single remotes on it, which you usually have, and this one's got a check valve on it. And this tractor's all there. It's a complete Super WD9, pretty much. Yeah, and this tire's decent, too. It's got the proper clamp on, where uh, riveted rims on it. It's missing a battery lid, but the battery boxes are both there. Uh, yeah, you see, oh, well, this one's 1116Y, so it could be a 53, it could be a late 53 or an early 54. So there's a Super WD9 for you, and this is a fair, like the grill's rough, but overall the tractor's fairly decent. Here's a 300 utility, it's got the incorrect headlights on it, and it's painted white, but it's a 300 utility. Paid white like a 350. This one, one seven seventeen three eighty S. I think it's a 50. It's either a 55 or a 56. This one. You see the early 300s. The utility. Some of them they put the three, well I think they got this backward, the 300 should be on top and the utility underneath just like that one. They could be wrong, this one may have been backwards. It's got nice tires on the back. Where are they, 14, 9, 28, they are so, oh somebody, you see some, it's got the fast hitch and somebody made a three point. It's got your live hydraulics, single. Well done. They they got set up so, you, so, so this on breakaway so it could either be a remote or a fast hitch. Yeah, both tires are decent. They put a new they, they reupholstered the seat. The tires are decent all the way around. It's got a torque amplifier, and live PTO. So there's a 300 utility for you. Here's another 300 utility. This one, the front end was broke out, but you see he sent another piece with for it. So that comes with it to fix that properly. That comes with it. 6911S, that, that's definitely, or 6913S is definitely a 1955. This one's got the bigger gas tank. Where that one does too, but this one has uh, has an extra gas tank, the auxiliary gas tank. This one's got dual. Re this one's got three hydraulic controls on, it, so it's got a fast hatch plus two remotes. It's got uh, this. This these tires aren't as good, but they're serviceable. And there again, someone made a three point out of the fast hitch. Like the 350 Wheatland Specials use this tank, but that's the first time I've seen one on a 350 or 300 utility. And the fenders are straight. Like this is a decent tractor. This really is a good 300. Like the, everything's nice and straight on it and stuff. Somebody, 12 volts, so somebody probably put an alternator on it and they didn't butcher the hood up to put that on, so that's a good thing. So there's a 300 utility for you. Here's a Farmall Super M with a do-all loader on it by the look of it. It's got good rubber on it. The F1 10573J, so this is Farmall Works built one. It's another stage one Super M. Put an alternator out here, but at least they didn't butcher it up. Nice tires on the back. They put a three-point hitch set up on it. It's got the one headlight on, at least of the proper ones. 
But the tires are good all the way around. You see, they got this set. They got the tires set right out there and make a wider stance on the front with the loader. That makes sense. This has got the M&W pump, but it's got the proper. But you see, see, they uh, they put an M&W pump on here and make live hydraulics on it, so that makes sense. Because originally it would have had the belly pump. So there's a uh, stage one Super M for you, a fairly decent one.